Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is, uh, what day is it today? <laughs> Got too many things going on here. It is Thursday, October the 12th, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning I got show and tell that's got my concentration kind of busted up. So I hope you'll bear with me and I hope you, it'll be worth it. I think it's really cool. So this morning's title for the breakfast biscuit from Ephesians 6, 13 and 14 is when sit-ups, starch and straining aren't enough. When sit-ups, starch and straining aren't enough. So please listen carefully. And those of you tuning in a little bit late, you might be at a disadvantage. I'm not being shot at today as far as I know. It's a hypothetical situation, but let's say that I'm going into a situation today, I know I'm going into a situation today where I'll be shot at. The people who are gonna shoot at me, they have good weapons and they're good marksmen. They're good shots. And so to get ready for going into this environment where I know I'm gonna be shot at today by people with the right weapons who are good shots, what I'm gonna do is do a lot of sit-ups to toughen my stomach muscles and I'm gonna wear a starched shirt because it's a little more uh, rigid than a regular old shirt. And when I think I'm in danger, I'm going to strain and tense up my chest muscles. That ought to be a good defense against being shot, right? That's as good as a bulletproof vest, right? You would have to be insane to think that. So here comes the show and tell. I borrowed these uh, from a law enforcement friend. These, if you can see them, are really heavy. These are not just a bulletproof Kevlar vest. See the Velcro where the agency name goes on the front? Uh, these, front and back, are uh, plates. And those plates, and believe me, there's a lot about this. I don't know those things are expensive. I don't have them. Uh, these plates that are in that over your chest, over your back, hang over your head uh, kind of rig, those plates that I just showed you will stop any pistol bullet made they will also stop most rifle bullets. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were going to war, you would not want to wear a starch shirt and do some extra sit-ups and tense up your chest muscles if you could right before you got shot. You would want to wear one of those, period. So then if you want to be covered with bulletproof plates when you're going to be shot at physically, why would you refuse the breastplate of righteousness, which is one of the most important parts of the armor of God? And please let me get this across to you. This has never dawned on you if you've never understood this. The breastplate of righteousness that you put on in the spiritual armor, the armor of God, is not your righteousness. Yes, you are called on to live a righteous life and to be imitators of Christ. Yes, all those things are true. But the breastplate of righteousness that you put on is the righteousness of God. Remember what the scripture says, he who knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God. So what are we saying? That spiritual armor, the breastplate of righteousness, you are covered with the righteousness of Christ that he gave you by becoming your substitute on the cross. And that breastplate of righteousness, which would also cover your back uh, in this situation with this analogy, would protect your heart, it would protect your breathing, and it would protect your liver. It would protect everything. So listen to what the scripture has to say. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. So there are some problems with those plates. Uh, now, uh, beyond the rifle uh, rated plates that go in the front and in the back, uh, so many of our guys overseas have been shot in the side, uh, in, the, in the gap between the two plates that they're now coming out with uh, plate systems that have side covers, etc. You don't have to worry about if you have the right plate system, if you have the breastplate of righteousness in Christ and spiritual warfare. It will cover all things. And let me remind you that what gets you to heaven is the righteousness of God given to you when he became your substitute and you received him in repentance and faith. So today, don't be dumb about going into a situation where you're going to get shot at. Don't tense up your chest muscles, do extra sit-ups, and wear a starch shirt. It's not going to be enough. And when you go into spiritual warfare, which you will today, I promise you, you will today, don't go into that in your own strength. 
take the breastplate of the righteousness of Christ with you. Let me pray for you. Lord God in heaven, we love you. We thank you for providing us the breastplate of righteousness, the righteousness of Christ to cover us, to atone for all of our sins, to reconcile us to you. God, help us not to walk about in our own strength or our own righteousness, which is as filthy rags. But God, we pray that we will put on the full armor of God and remember to walk in the righteousness of Christ that has been given to us through the atonement. Lord, have mercy on us today. Help us to love you back. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.